Four shootings in just two days last week in Durham. Many times people don't think about the children who witnessed those crimes and the impact it has on them. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman spoke with an organization that helps kids who have experienced trauma and found out what they need help with right now. When flashing lights fill neighborhoods, <laughs> or first responders are called to overdoses, children are often caught in the middle. It is very, very unsettling sometimes how traumatic these experiences are for these kids. Alexandra Cam is the regional supervisor at Youth Villages. The nonprofit offers services for kids and young adults who've experienced trauma. That can be growing up with violence, abuse, gangs, mental health issues, or more. A lot of our youth's behaviors, they're very intense, so sometimes they push their supports away. These kids are some of the many heading back to school this month. Youth Villages tells me they need donations for 80 students. The families we work with at times, they may not have enough financial stability to spend an extra $100 or more on school supplies for their kids. The donations are part of their Backpack Heroes program. It goes until classes start. They still have to go to school every day, and that's what's really difficult is because they're supposed to focus in school um, while they're thinking about, where's my mom? Am I going to get to see them again? Cam says every backpack, notepad, or set of pens makes a difference with how they start the school year. It just really gives a confidence boost for these kids who maybe already feel a little bit different or maybe outside of their peers. Making them feel more in control in the classroom when that's not always the case back at home. In Durham, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. And if you'd like to donate school supplies or money to youth villages, just head to our website, cbs17.com, for more information.